Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am preparing for some guests to come to our house and I'm getting all the bedding and linens and towels all clean and fresh. So I'm gonna share with you guys a few tips and tricks that I like to use and DIYs that I like for getting the freshest linens possible. Before I jump into the video, I wanted to let you guys know that this video is sponsored by Grove Collaborative. They have sponsored a few of my videos in the past, and I have been a paying customer of theirs for a while now. They are a delivery service. They deliver natural and organic options for cleaning supplies, hygiene items, baby items, and I get a box every single month. They are offering a special to my viewers only, which is a free gift with purchase for new customers, and it is a two times concentrate from seventh generation, the wool dryer balls, and an essential oil. And if you're an existing customer like I am, they have a free gift as well. All that will be in the description, so you can check that out for the details. Okay, so I'm gonna jump into the video and get cleaning. Starting with the bedding, I'm gonna go ahead and strip all of the bedding and the sheets. In my master bedroom and my guest bedroom, I have white sheets, and then I have white towels in my master bedroom. So I wash light colors with light colors. So I wash all the whites together, and then I will usually wash all the grays together, and my sons both have more gray colored sheets. So I wash those with the gray bedding. Washing light colors with like colors is pretty standard when it comes to washing bedding, so I generally stick to that rule. And yeah, I'm just gonna start with that. I've experimented with a lot of different laundry detergents and I really like the seventh generation concentrate laundry detergent. They have a four times and a two times. And I use the four times right now, but I also have the two time concentrate in my cabinet. If you don't wanna use bleach to whiten your whites, you can use either a natural alternative to that, which I have ordered before on Grove, or you can use a half a cup of lemon juice and you can just pour that in with your whites and it's gonna help it look a little less dingy and faded and give it a little brightness. I only had a few lemons here in this case, so I'm not using quite half a cup, but I am putting a little bit in there with my detergent just to brighten it up a bit. Wool dryer balls are a great addition to a laundry routine. They're used in the dryer. I have several of them. I've talked about them before on my channel. They're also a great alternative for using dryer sheets because what you can do is you can use them by themselves. They actually cut drying time um, by 25 to 50% but they also are great when you use them with essential oils. So I like to use them, especially when I'm um, drying bedding, I like to use them with a kind of like a sleepy time essential oil or a bedtime essential oil, something that has lavender in it. It leaves a really nice but subtle scent on the bedding. You could use any essential oil combination that you prefer and switch it up depending on what you're washing and drying, um, but it's a nice alternative to dryer sheets. I'm gonna use the same essential oil to make a dreamy linen spray. Really easy to make, all you need is a spray bottle. I have distilled water in there, filled up pretty much all the way, and then I have witch hazel, and then I'm gonna add 10 to 15 drops of an essential oil. So I'm using the nighttime essential oil so that I could spray it on the linens, but again, you can customize this and totally change it however you want it. I like that because I like to spray it on the sheets and the pillows and the bedding, and it has a lavender scent, so it's really nice and relaxing. Next, I'm gonna do a little guest prep in the guest bedroom. We have my husband's family coming to stay with us and then all of us are going camping and someone's gonna be watching my home. So I like to have a guest basket with um, a few different things. I have facial sponges, a body sponge, shampoo and conditioner, ear swabs, a toothbrush, toothpaste, all that jazz. So I usually fill it with any essentials that I think they might need or may have forgotten just to make sure that they feel comfortable. And it varies depending on how much time I have or how rushed I feel when I'm getting ready. But I also put a few little extra goodies in there, a facial spray, lip balm, and then a candle. And then also you could, you know, if you wanted to, you could put their own um, laundry detergent in there as well so that they can do their laundry. Again, it's customizable, depends on how much you wanna do and what you wanna put into it, but I always like to put a little something together and I feel like it's always really appreciated. So I wanted to make sure I got that done while I was waiting for the laundry to be finished. And once the laundry is finished, I can go ahead and start making the bed in the guest bedroom.
So I prefer to fix the bedding as soon as it comes out of the dryer because it has wrinkles at first, but then if you fix it right away, the wrinkles go away. I'm not really one to, I don't really have the time to steam or iron my sheets, although I know some people like to do that. So um, I just like to get the corners really nice and I do fold them and tuck it under. I don't do it every single time, but I like to do it, especially if I'm having guests. And then for fresh and fluffy towels, a quick tip is that you can use vinegar. So we used lemon juice with the whites to give it a little extra brightness. We're actually gonna use vinegar to help remove any residue on towels and just make them a little fluffier. You actually do not need to use any detergent at all. You can simply use vinegar and that'll make them a little cleaner and fluffier. Next, I'm gonna make some sachets. These can be used under a pillow. They can be used on top of towels. You can use them um, in drawers just to kind of freshen it up. So I'm actually picking some fresh lavender and eucalyptus. I'm going to pull the lavender apart and just get it separated. And then I'm gonna put it inside a muslin bag. We actually sell bath bombs in my boutique and I keep the muslin bags that the bath bombs come in and I reuse them. So I like to make little sachets with it. And then I'm also gonna utilize the eucalyptus as well. I'm gonna take the entire eucalyptus leaf and I'm going to tie that with twine on top of the sachet. It just makes a really pretty presentation, but you could take uh, eucalyptus, you could buy it from the store. You can dry it, crinkle it up, and put it inside the sachets. Um, there's a few things you can do with it, but I think that this makes for a really pretty presentation and it smells lovely. If you aren't using it for a presentation and you just put the herbs inside the bag, you can also throw that in the dryer and that adds a really nice scent as well to towels or bedding or linens. I'm gonna clean the windows in the guest bedroom now. And one thing I really have been liking from Grove is their concentrates, not only their laundry detergent concentrates, but also these concentrates here. I've been ordering the microfiber cloths in pretty much every order, and then I've been getting their glass spray bottles. So the concentrates come with three different ones, a tub cleaner, a glass cleaner, and all purpose. And then you take the contents inside the little tube, you put it in the glass spray bottle, and then you fill the rest up with water. So it saves a lot of space in terms of cleaning supplies. And I still like to order some of their seventh generation, but I've been trying to cut back just so that I don't have too many bottles and saving plastic and things like that. So I've been experimenting with the concentrates and really liking them. I share a lot of DIY options, but for those of you who don't want to experiment with DIY cleaning, concentrates are a nice thing to kind of check out and experiment with and see if you like. Since I washed all the bedding together, it's time to do my bed. This is the master bedroom. So my husband and I, this is where we sleep. And I'm gonna go ahead and just get everything all put back on the bed. Laundry can definitely be overwhelming, so I highly recommend focusing on towels, linen, and bedding in one day, and then maybe coming back to clothing on a different day. That's usually how I do it, but it's definitely a nice feeling to have clean bedding and towels. So anyway, that completes my little cleaning routine and getting ready for my guests to come. I hope you enjoyed this video. Huge thanks to Grove Collaborative for sponsoring it, and check out the free gift with purchase if you are a new customer. They're awesome. If you have any questions that you wanna know, I've been a customer for a year, so just ask me in the comments below and I'd be happy to share. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.